Okay, YouTube. I'm back here with um, my DSi review and slash R4i review. Now, first, uh, start off with the DS. The DSi actually is. Um, I haven't found one yet that was a shiny color. Um, it's all flat colored, even the blue. You know, it's like a f this one's a flat black. It's got a lot sleeker look to it. You know, it doesn't leave as much uh, fingerprints as the uh, as the shiny ones. Uh, quite a bit thinner. You, know, you can kind of see that. There's a different charging slot also. Uh, left and right shoulders stick out a little bit more than the original DS or uh, DS Lite. You notice no GBA slot, which was a real, uh, I thought was actually kind of a bad idea, but, you know, I guess you gotta give up something to, uh, get something. And by that, I mean your SD slot. This, I haven't found too bad of use, but it has its flaws. One, uh, the good thing about it is you can store uh, pictures which you can take on your memory card uh, from your DSi. You know, you got your two cameras inside, outside and inside. But it's not. Don't leave too much room for uh, games and whatnot. You can only put game or pictures that you've downloaded, music and whatnot. You can still play. There's like a little media player that you can use inside here. But you know, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna find a new use for it. Or a hack or something. Somebody always does. Also, volume buttons. On the outside, they're not slider anymore, but they're actually uh, buttons, and they're not down by the microphone slash headphones anymore, which is real useful. Actually, it's a lot better, I think. Now, inside, you got screens that are. Uh, I can't remember exactly how big the screens are, but they're a little bit bigger than the original DS Lite or DS screens, which, I don't know, I don't really see too much of a difference. Still work fine to me, you know. It's, I wouldn't see a difference between this one and the other one. Power button. Turn on the DSi on the inside. Also, uh, doubles as a soft reset, which makes it good so, you know, when if you want to play a different game or whatnot, you know you can just hit the soft reset and it'll go back to the beginning. You got your basic A B X Y start and select up down left right. On the inside, you got your VGA. Uh, sorry. I, I think it's VGM. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like a regular um, a Razer cell phone camera. You know, same thing inside and outside, both the same. Um, top left hinge, you got uh, see, you got your wireless, you got your charger, and you got the power. So let's see it in action. NDSI, basic uh, health and safety. And same as the original. There's few difference. If you notice, the, um, the selection screen has almost the same thing as uh, the Wii. It has your channel select, uh, game slot, camera slot, uh, settings. You got a few downloadable games that you can get off of the um, DSi Shop channel. Right here, this is one of my favorite units right here, is a DSi browser. No longer you need the R4 to do this, or R4i, which makes it really convenient. Uh, let's see. You can record sound, voice. This is where your media players also add. You got your basic download play and picto chat. I'm not sure what else, you know, if Nintendo's going to come up with any more channels that's useful with this. Uh, maybe, hopefully, they come up with a video program that you can record video on the DSi. But, you know, we'll see.
All right, let's see the DSi camera. All right, on the inside, actually up here, on the top, you got your DSi camera. Uh, it basically a calendar tells you which um, which pictures you took on what day. Uh, you can write notes. You can basically like a normal camera. Bottom screen, you have, you can either save your pictures to your system, which basically is the memory on the DSi, or if you got an SD card, which holds up to, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 8 gigs, I believe. I don't, it might take a 32, you know, but I'm not, you know, guaranteed on that. Which, I only have like a 64 megabyte, which is tiny, like, real tiny. Next, you got your camera selection. You can choose your camera. Then you can choose your album. Then exit. Uh, this shows your calendar, which brings it down to the bottom screen. If you pick on, if you take a picture on a certain day, and you click it, it should. There you go. It should bring it up on the top. Then, um, let's see, you can write on, you can write your memos, blah, 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 whatnot, rewrite, uh, you can write your memos. I don't know if there's an alarm on here that, you know, that sets off a memo, if you gotta remember something, I don't know, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, what else you got? You hit the, um, other button, like, literally it says, oh. <laughs> you can hit uh you can exchange which basically you can exchange pictures you can copy from the system menu or the the DS memory to the SD memory if you click that it shows you an option you can go back or forth from the SD card to the DSI or the DSI to the SD card uh also you can uh hit delete say you want to delete certain pictures you can delete from the system memory or you want to delete it from uh, the SD slot. So let's test the uh, camera. Okay, when you first start out on the camera, it's going to show you on the bottom screen, it's going to show you the camera facing you. That's the inside camera. Um, you can change that right after you choose uh, what setting you want. It's like not hard, but not. So don't get confused. Like you only can use the inside one. It does let you use the outside. On the top, it shows you different types of um, lens that you can use. You got normal, warped, which basically distorts uh, graffiti, color. Uh, the color one is a little bit weird. Uh, if you touch a certain area, it lights up just that area of light. Uh, say if you want to make just um, like retro pictures and whatnot, you know, it shows you all that. You got color pad, which if you if you use this one and you touch on a certain area, it's gonna change the tone of that color. Basically, works like um, the color. You got mirrors, which kind of like a fun house. Mischief, if you take a picture of a face, um, you can basically change like what it's doing, um, make notes, put pic uh, put faces on them, funny uh, glasses. Uh, this one is the emotion lens. Basically, if you have somebody smiling, you can change them, change it to a frown without them realizing it. You got merge, which basically merges or transforms two different pictures to make them look like one. Um, resemblance, you can take a picture of two different faces and see how close they are. And this is one of my favorites, is the frame. If you take a picture of um, of something you can set your different frames like say you want uh, here, let's try it real quick let's see 
You got Mario. That's... No, I don't really like that one. But you can also... But the best thing is you can create a frame which lets you take a picture of anything. Uh, erase any area that you don't want and use that as your frame. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. And that's basically it for the DSi. And I'll be back for my uh, my review on the DSi's R4i. Bye bye.